She was so angry and so mean. I think that we were the first human beings to ever catch her. She was obviously super feral. It's pretty fast. Okay. When we first heard about her, the lady had reached out for help. She was like, there's a kitten. She's in a septic tank hole. When we first saw her, it was a terrible sight. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's actually sitting in water. Every time I reached my arm, the dirt kept falling down further and further, and I couldn't reach her. I tried to lure her closer with the food. He's licking his little lips. He's definitely hungry. And he finally moved a little bit closer. Okay, I think he's gonna start to eat, hopefully. You got him? Kind of. Oh, you got him in the net. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Her growling and she was hissing and she was trying to bite me through the net. You okay? Oh my god, this is incredible. It was even hard getting her into the carrier because she was trying to claw her way back out. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> oh my god, buddy. Look how dirty and muddy you are. <laughs> Came home and that's kind of when we unwrapped the carrier, we took the lid off. She was mad, and part of that too, she was in pain. Her legs just fell completely straight down, and there's no movement. Oh my god, his legs, they're like broken the other way. We're heartbroken because we know what that means. We knew it was going to be a struggle. We gave her the pain meds, and that kind of calmed her down a lot because it took the pain away. Once we got her in the water too, she knew that we were giving her that good feeling, so I think she started to trust a little bit. Let's do it first. The fat basically told us, just care for her. She's not gonna walk, most likely. But we're like, she's not in pain. So we'll give her a chance to figure it out. Go best. We didn't really want her dragging herself very much, so I carried her around for weeks. What are you guys doing? Make breakfast. We knew that she was needing to get used to human contact, so we just kind of made her get used to it. <laughs> and she just slowly got less and less angry, so it was easier to handle her. We did a lot of stretching and exercises with her. We just grabbing her by her little hind paws and pushing them up towards her. And then we noticed one day she bent her knees. As soon as we knew that she had some feeling and we started to prop her up, we made her our own little walking harness. And I would hold her just where her feet would just be able to touch the ground. And then it was one morning we heard her eating. We looked up and she was standing. This is amazing. And then she started to walk. Come. Come. Go, Go Oh, look at her. She's so good. She walks and she gets around great. She can jump. I think the emotional transformation has been even crazier than the physical one because she was so angry and now she's so loving. What are you guys doing? Watching TV. That's that? She loves us so much and she loves contact. She's recovered and she's gonna live a normal life is amazing. Wow, look at that! Look at those co moves. <laughs> What's going on over here? Why are you sleeping like that? Oh, you're such a weirdo.